If you don't know your D sharps from your E flats, don't stress. The scales mode here in GarageBand has got you covered and will have you playing the right note every time. Scales mode is available on a lot of your virtual instruments and pretty much every single keyboard instrument here in GarageBand. Here's how to use it. In your keyboard instrument over on the right hand side, tap on the scale button. Over on the right, you can scroll down and select from any of the 12 scales here in GarageBand. Let's start with the major. The major scale is used in rock and pop and all sorts of music. And if you know your do, re, mi, you probably know your major scale. Next up we have the major pentatonic scale. This is a five note scale that sounds like this. The major pentatonic can be a fun one to use in something like our guitar to create some cool solos and lead parts. Next up let's get bluesy. We've got our major blues scale which sounds like this. And you can hear we've got this flattened third to give you that very bluesy kind of tone. The next scale we can choose from is our Mixolydian scale. This is very similar to a major, but as you can see here, it has a flattened seventh just to be a little different. And finally, in our grouping of major scales, we have the Klezma scale, which sounds like this. And if you've never heard of or used that scale before, you're not alone. Let's change up our instrument for a bit of variety and jump into our next set of scales based on the minor scale. Starting with the minor pentatonic, which is just like our pentatonic, only with the minor intervals. Just like our major blues scale, we also have a minor blues scale, which can be cool for some bluesy solos in your tracks. And up next, one of our world scales here, the Japanese scale, that sounds like this. And this is actually the default scale for some of our world instruments, such as the Koto. Our final grouping of scales are based on a standard minor, which is... Like a major, but it has those minor intervals in there, and this can be thought of as your sad or your spooky, as opposed to your happy sounds. A variation on the minor scale is the harmonic minor, which you've probably heard in a lot of songs that sounds like this. With that raised up note at the end there, just to give it a little bit more of a spooky kind of feel. Next is the often misunderstood Dorian scale, which sounds like this. It's almost like a combination of a minor and a major. And look, I'm not the number one theory expert. If you want to learn about modes and Dorian scales, there are a heap of videos right here on YouTube. And last but not least is the Southeast Asian scale that sounds like this. And if you've been to Indonesia or Bali and seen some of the little instruments you can buy there, they are often tuned to this southeastern scale. And to turn our scale back off, just tap on the scale, go to the top and tap off and you're back to your standard keyboard. There you have it, the scale option here in GarageBand. What a cool way to make it much easier to play our virtual instruments. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording and releasing here in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description.